that expose the six myths about Christianity. And one of the nice things about this is that they use secular uh, authorities to support what it's stating here. So they can't say, well, that's you know your Bible, like that's what you people say. It's rec actually it's, um, secular. Um, the myths that lead one from the other to the other to the other, very nicely written in here for us regarding do all good people go to heaven? Uh, God is a trinity. Um, these subjects are being considered. Mary, the mother of God, uh, and so forth. There's another article in here that I found very interesting. And um, how often are we being, our attention being drawn to the family? In here, likewise, there's another article in here. What can we learn from Jesus about family life? There's some wonderful points in there about um, uh, family happiness, um, husbands and wives, how they can they be happy, uh, children, how they view them, how Jesus viewed them. See, these subjects are all covered in our Watchtower article. Here's a good question. Are Jehovah's Witnesses a Protestant religion? How would you answer that? Well, that's, again, part of our, our, our Watchtower magazine. And that's just a few points from there. Our Wake magazine, of course, um, if you've had an opportunity to look at that, is talking about technology. Is it a blessing or a curse? Some might say both, <laughs> right? But why is that? Well, in here, of course, it goes into some more um, subjects about that just that, is it a blessing or a curse? And it gives some wonderful illustrations of what technology or why people feel it may be one or the other or both. Um, a guide to parents. Again, how can, how can parents uh, guide or make good decisions in regards to the children when it comes to technology? Uh, and the use of technology be considerate and um, economically. Some people need to read that article. Okay, let's see. There's another one in here that I really wanted, I, I loved, um, and you probably, as if you're a parent, it's the young people ask, what can I wear? The shock on a parent's face, if you saw that, right? Isn't, isn't a lot of people thinking about those things? I mean, really, to most people, it may not seem that shocking what this young lady is wearing, but to some parents it is. And it covers that very nicely in this article. So those are just some things that I've highlighted and uh, appreciated in our magazines. What about you? Is there anything in particular that you think that we can draw from and, and, and use um, this, this coming month with our magazines and the features involved in them? What about you? Now it's your turn. Sister Roberts? Well, you already mentioned it, but I like that article that we get periodically what we learn from Jesus. And this one on family life, everybody has a family, so I think it appeals to everybody. But many people don't think that, we, um, that Jesus had a lot to say about family life because he was a single man. We may not think that we're going to learn that much from him on how to have happy families. But I especially like the paragraph, how, how can husbands and wives make each other happy? There's just two little paragraphs there, but they really have some important points on how the Bible principles of headship and uh, rules for husbands and rules for wives can really help their family be happier. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yes, please, uh, my sister. I'm sorry, I, I, I got it over the weekend, but I've lost it since then. I like the article in the Watchtower Keys to Family Happiness when a spouse has special needs. Mm -hmm. We meet a lot of people who one member of the family is ill with cancer or mental depression or something. And this article is very good for encouraging them as to ways to handle that situation. Thank you. Anything else? Yes, please, Sister Angela. I had uh, just recently, in the past few weeks, uh, been speaking to someone who is a Catholic. And she claims to be a very devout Catholic. And I, when we got this magazine in, um, the myths of other religions, and then the scriptures, and then the fact of it, it brought it down into such, uh, it, it just broke it down so that everyone could understand it. And all the reference work that is in this article 
is, is just terrific. I, I found that that will be very good even at the door, even briefly, being able to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Well, I'm sure you'd all agree how important it is to prepare, but how important it is for us for, to prepare our, our young ones uh, at the door. At this time, we're going to turn our attention to our brother, a father, and a son, and he's going to help his uh, son to prepare for the ministry, and then likewise, what can we learn from this? And and help our children as well. Well, Andrew, it's almost a new month. Probably we should get all of our points together and uh, put together a presentation and practice for November. I gave you the Watch China Lake a couple days ago. Were you able to look at it and maybe dig out an article that you like? No, it's about technology. Oh, the Awake? I like that one too. I, I was thinking about that one. Did you think of maybe a question you want to ask the householder about technology? Do you think technology like cell phones and computers are good or bad? I think that's a great question. It's simple. People can uh, uh, answer that. So I think that will work perfectly for you. Well, what really drew you to that article? Did you pick out a point that you might want to bring out? On page 7, there's a guy who had a car wreck because he wasn't paying attention. He's on a phone, and he had a car wreck. Oh, I see. And there's a woman hurt bad. Yeah, that's a really good point. I remember on the news like a month ago, they were talking about making it uh, a law where you can't talk on the phone or text because it is so dangerous. Well, how about a scripture? You got a lot of good points. What about a scripture to bring out? First Kings, first Kings, thirteen thirty three about bad association. Yeah, that's a great scripture. I like that scripture too. Well, it seems like you have a lot of good points together. Why don't we put it together, practice a presentation, and we'll make sure that you're ready for service in November. Go ahead and pretend like you're out in service and you meet me at the door. Hello? Hi, my name is Andrew. May I ask your name? My name is Paul. It's glad to meet you, Paul. I'm here to tell you about Tim. Technology. Technology. And do you think technology is good or bad? Oh, I think it's probably good and bad. I, I need a good computer for my business. I need a cell phone for my business. But I really hate being behind someone on the road who's on a cell phone or texting and just all over. And I think it's really dangerous to drive. I'm glad you noticed that because on page four, there's a guy that had a car wreck and there's a woman hurt bad in there. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's dangerous, we both agree. I, will, I like to read you a scripture because there's a lot of bad people on the internet and it says, First Corinthians 15.33, do not be mixed with bad associations for of useful habits. That's a good scripture, I agree with that. I'd like to offer this to you because that way you can learn more about technology. Well, thank you. I would like that. I think you did great, Andrew. You did really good. I can tell you prepared and you looked at that. Don't forget to mention the donation arrangement. And I think a few more times you're going to be ready for service in November.